What's up everybody? Jeremy here, MTG Headquarters, cracking open the latest Theros intro packs. This is the White Green Anthusa's Army, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Come quickly, hero, and gather an army. Cast an arsenal of powerful auras and spells to pave a path to victory for your numerous warriors. You get your ready play 60 card deck and two super sweet Theros packs. I don't know what order I'm uploading this in, but I have yet to open a mythic, yet to open a god, and I've opened almost an entire booster box <laughs> of Theros, which is kind of sad. This is the green promo. I think this is what you got at pre-release. 4-5 heroic. I love the heroic mechanic. Love it. Uh, whenever you cast a spell that targets uh, Anthusa's uh, set C and hero, up to three target lands you control. Each become 2-2 warrior creatures until end of turn. They're still lands. Yeah. This was definitely... I, I, I didn't play anybody directly that had a well-built heroic deck, but some people around me were playing it. I just remember, like... Hearing them say like, oh, and this triggers this, and this triggers that, so it gets a plus two, and then it gets a plus one, and then I get a token, then I get this thing, and then I roll a dice, and then I cut my hair. Avish Mystic, good ramping. Favorite Hoplite. Heroic. Deadly Recluse, has green Doomblade, right? Um... Oh, whenever you cast a spell that targets Citizen... Battle Priest, you gain two life. So all this is very um, synergistic. 2-2 two, two Fire with Heroic, absolutely great. Chronicler of Heroes, 3-3 three, three for 3. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card if you control a creature with a 1-1 one, one counter on it, which hopefully you would. Staunch-Hearted Warrior, just great. Rumbling Balth is great. I'd love to see an Advocate of the Beasts in here. With these beasts, you could put a little mini beast deck in here, like Rumbling Balath and Colonian Tuskers. They don't have the heroic mechanic, but I'm telling you that uh, Advocate of the Beast beast combo is tough to deal with. Centaur Battlemaster. Let's see what we got for spellies. Giant Growth, obviously. Two Giant Growths. Warrior's Lesson, until end of turn, up to two target creatures you control, gain whenever this creature deals combat damage, draw a card. I like how green has this card draw ability now. Battlewise Valor. You definitely want stuff that targets your creatures to trigger that, um, battal or not battalion, heroic. You have two pacifisms, well, that's for somebody else's creature. I suppose in a pinch you could target your own creature and trigger everything else off. Time to feed. Target creature you control fights another creature. It's like a pit fight plus life gain. Dauntless Onslaught. Uh, here's a rare. Bow of Nylea. So, attacking creatures you control having death touch. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's great, but... Isn't it more like an ability that you'd want when you're behind on the board? I guess, like, late, I mean, you could send your weenies through to kill stuff and then leave your fatties back. I don't know. I guess it's pretty good. Um, I don't, when I first saw this card, I thought it would be better, and then people weren't even playing it, you know? Artisan Sorrow, destroy target artifact or enchantment, scry two. I love scrying. I love scrying more than I love life gain. And you have destroy target creature with power four or greater. It's funny, um... I was talking at the pre-release with some guys about how, like, they just attach the scry ability to kind of, like, random cards. You know, just when you wouldn't expect it, then there's, like, a scry one on there. Sip of Hemlock. Great removal in limited. Limited, limited. There's not a lot of removal in this set, so... Sip of Hemlock's what you got. Six mana removal. All right. Anvil Rot Raptor. Evasion is definitely important here. Uh, Centaur Battlemaster, that goes straight in your little deck there. Spellheart Chimera and a rare Temple of Deceit, a Scryland, black, blue. Right on. There's some cards in there for you. So, how was your guys' Theros pre release? I did alright. I had fun. Did a couple of vlogs for it. I think you guys like those, so I, maybe I'll do that then for every time, as long as I can. Hunt the Hunter. 
Flame Speaker Adept, Witch's Eyeball, and a rare. Our streak continues. <laughs> Boon Seder, 4 2 Flash. Uh, Flash, there's a lot of Flash creatures in this set, I noticed. Um, but it has Bestow, which is always good. It's extra value. Oh, and a foil rare, Reverent Hunter. If this is a seal pool, getting a foil rare in your color is always awesome. Whenever it enters the battlefield, put a number of 1 1 counters equal to your devotion to green. Holy poop. Mono green. Is this, would this be a thing in a mono green deck? I don't know. It seems pretty legit. And then if you could bestow something on it to give it trample or something, or flying, evasion. That seems like a pretty good card. Well, yeah. Well, that is this intro pack. I hope you enjoyed all of the intro pack openings. I suppose this could be the first one you're seeing. I have done all five and will upload one each day the week leading up to the Theros release. If you're new to the channel, please take a moment to crush that thumbs up button, even if you're not new below the video. I really appreciate it. And if you're new, then also you should subscribe so you get notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to chat about literally anything Magic the Gathering related or beards, comment down in the, in the section down below. I look forward to talking to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of our most popular playlists, everything from MTG vlogs, gameplay video, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. And if you haven't yet, here's your opportunity to crush that subscribe button to join the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.